Oh my god, Alex. You are Nicole's mother? Yes, me and Chris are Nicole's parents. I am Chris. Me and Alex married and had a baby and didn't invite you to our wedding. I'm so glad to see you again, Roxy. Tell Connor I said hi. Yes, I will. It is time to commence the emo makeover to win Zach's heart. Wow, I look so hot. You are going to shock everyone. Wow, I am so shocked. But in a good way. Thanks, Dad. Wow, I am so shocked, but in a bad way. Mom, you are the worst. I just think you looking like that will get you negative attention from boys. That's the point. Yikes. She really is your daughter. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's in my genetics to want to date emo boys. I love you, babe. Anyway, should I tell Maddie about Luke? Who is Luke? Your dead son. Oh, that Luke. I mean, I have no emotional connection with Luke since I was kissing Jessica with consent at that time. But if you want to tell Maddie, that's up to you. I don't want Maddie making the same mistakes I did. Jesus Christ, Roxy, she's 12. She's not going to go around and kiss lots of emo boys. With consent, of course. I can't wait to kiss Zach with consent. Hi Maddie, I am calling you on the phone, but I'm really nervous because I want to ask you out but I am shy. Haha, <laughs> Ryan you're such a funky little dude. I love you Fang. You are so beautiful, it keeps distracting me and making me forget to ask you if you will marry me. It's been like 20 years, when will you stop being distracted by my beauty, and ask me to marry you? Veda, I will look away so I can say it. Will you marry me? Finally. My answer is yes. Hey Maddie, I heard they remodeled the school. All the teachers were fired and almost every kid is replaced with new kids. Weird. Wow, I am so shocked. You look different but in a bad way. Rude. You look like one of the emo kids. Don't tell me you want to look like those freaks. And what's wrong with that? I want to look like those freaks. I can be who I want. Yikes. What happened to Maddie? Her new look shocked me but I'm weirdly still attracted to her. I don't know. Zach, meet my new friend, Maddie. Whoa, she is so smoking hot. Yeah, she's the girl you ignored yesterday. Wow, she changed. She looks good now. She is going to be mine. Hey baby, I am Brittany and I have a crush on you. Don't call me baby. There's only one blonde that I care about. Is it me? No. Did you know I can dance and embarrass myself because I have no shame? I have shame. Can you please stop dancing in front of me? Hey baby, how do I look in my undies? WTF Britney. We are 12. Leave me alone. Can you get out of the boys locker room so I can get changed in peace? Maddie, would you like to go steady? Go steady? As in like, date? That is what it means. I know, it's just that no one says that anymore and you sound like a grandpa. But yes, I would like to be your girlfriend. Boo hoo. I can't believe I just saw Maddie and Zach kiss. Why me? I just saw you kiss that boy with consent. I am so mad at you right now, Maddie. I don't want you dating until you are in ninth grade. And I will only allow kissing with consent after you get married. 
Mom I am 13. Can you stop babying me? I have self-control issues and after kissing with consent for the first time I couldn't stop and it was too late. Genetically I feel you might also have self-control issues and I don't want you to get pregnant at a young age like I did. WTF I won't get pregnant. When I was your age I had a baby boy named Luke. His death is all my fault. Boo hoo. I hate you I hate that I didn't know about my brother and that his name was Luke I hate you so much. I hate you but I love you as a friend but I'm mad at you. Tell me something I don't know. You have a dead brother named Luke? No, actually I literally just found out about that. Oh. Anyway, don't date Zach. He's not the right guy for you. Ryan is. What would you know about boys? You act like a heartbreaker who gets plenty of boyfriends, but you have never once dated a boy before in your life. You dumb lesbian. Bitch. Anyway this is about me, not you, I wish I knew my dead brother. Hi I'm Luke your dead brother and guardian angel. Am I in heaven right now? Yes. I'm here to save you from something bad happening. What's the bad thing that will happen? You ask too many questions. Break up with Zach. Don't tell me what to do. You're as bad as our mom. If you don't break up with him before the sun hits the middle of the sky tomorrow, something bad will happen. I know that sounds so obscure, and I don't want to tell you what bad thing will happen so please just break up with him before then. I don't want to dump Zack. I love him. Ryan is sad because you're dating Zack. Ryan is a good person. Please, date Ryan. Now I feel guilty. Ryan is shy, so you should make the first move. Thankfully he will gain some confidence later after he meets Wes and sips a few alcoholic drinks. But that doesn't matter now since I am a Roddy shipper. And not a Rez shipper. What matters now is that currently Ryan is shy and parentless and needs you to be his girlfriend. I will think about it. Also tell mom and dad I said hi. Welcome to my awesome pool party. What is the best part of your party so far? The best part was when you showed up babe. Are you jealous? Yes. You snooze you lose. Ryan, kiss me. No. You snooze you lose. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to sleep anymore if I want to be a winner. Oh the sun is in the middle of the sky. I hope nothing bad happens. I love you. I think we're moving too fast. I'm going to kiss you without consent. Oh shoot, Luke was right. I'm sorry Maddie, I didn't mean it. I don't forgive you. I need a moment alone. Where have you been? That doesn't matter, Luke said hi. WTF. Yeah, I was in heaven briefly. Weird. Also I decided you were allowed to start dating boys now. Yay. I'm so glad we are getting married right now, I love you Fang. Wow, I love you so much Veda. I'm glad we had a small wedding and only invited Maddie Roxy Connor and of course, Guardian Angel Luke. I told you not to invite Luke. Oh sorry, I probably didn't hear you tell me that because I was so distracted by your beauty. OMG Luke you were here at this wedding? I just like wedding cake. Hey Maddie. Ryan, what are you doing at this wedding you weren't invited to? I came to see you. But why? Let me show you why. Would you like to dance? Yes. Want to kiss? Yes, even though that would count as cheating since I am still technically dating Zack. Want a baby? No. Okay cool, me neither. Glad we're smarter than your parents. Let's keep dancing. Wow, 
We've known each other for 13 years, and I never noticed you romantically before, until now. That's okay, I've loved you ever since I met you and always will love you. That's a long time, Ryan. Are you sure about that? Yes. There is absolutely nothing in my life that I could ever be more sure about. I promise, I won't ever stop loving you, unless in fact, I were to encounter an attractive Mexican boy named Wes, specifically, with my haircut. But that's just a silly fantasy I've made up in my mind. As I am straight, and not gay or bisexual, maybe Wes sexual but as I said, I'm straight and Wes is just a fantasy. Ryan, can you shut up and just dance with me? Oh yeah, sure, okay.